A pain you experience right at the crease of the buttock is usually a sign of some sort of injury to the tendons that attach your hamstrings to the pelvis. This usually happens if the muscle is stretched beyond its capacity or challenged with a sudden load. If this happens, you need to let your hamstrings rest first for at least a week and then begin the recovery process, gradually adding new movements. Stage 1. Begin to engage. Stage 2. Begin to stretch. Stage 3. Begin to restore the range of motion. Do not move to the next stage if the movements in the previous one remain problematic. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin. We will begin the practice by transitioning down onto your hands and knees. Put some padding under your knees if you need to. And now close your eyes. Stay here. Take a moment to deepen your breath. Notice how your body feels overall right now. In the course of the practice today, I will be saying painful leg and non-painful leg instead of right and left to make the practice a little bit more customized to your needs. So for now, make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulder joints and your knees are underneath your hip joints. Next time when you inhale, lift your chest forward and up, widening your collarbones. And then next time when you exhale, pull your belly button in and round your back, tuck the chin in. And we'll do that a few more times. Full deep breath in, lifting your chest forward and up, widening it. And with the exhalation, pull your belly button in and round the back, tucking the chin in. Do that two more times on your own, following the rhythm of your breath. And the next time when you inhale, lift the chest forward and up. With the next exhalation, slowly bring your elbows down to the ground, but leave your butt up in the air for now. Relax the neck. With the inhalation, come back up onto your hands and knees, widening the chest. And with the next exhalation, bring your elbows down first and then lower your butt down just a little bit in the direction of your heels. With the next inhalation, come back up onto your hands and knees, widen the chest. And with the exhalation, gradually bring your elbows down first and then move your butt down toward the heels as much as it's comfortable right now. Don't force anything. With the inhalation, back up onto your hands and knees, widening the chest. And with the exhalation, contract your abdomen and move down into the child's pose only as far as it's comfortable to you right now. Don't force it. Do that two more times, up and down. Maintaining the range of movement that seems appropriate to you. And then next time when you come up onto your hands and knees, go ahead and transition down to the ground so you're lying on your stomach. Let's place the hands next to the lower ribs with the elbows up in the air, forehead on the ground, feet about hip distance apart. Next time when you inhale, slowly pull your elbows back and lift your chest forward and up. Don't push with your hands. Stay here and exhale, pressing your hips firmly into the ground. Next time when you inhale, bend your non-painful leg pulling the heel toward the butt. And with the next exhalation, bring everything down, forehead to the ground. And we'll do that again. On the inhale, lift your upper body up, widening the chest, pulling the elbows back. Stay here and exhale, anchoring through your pelvis. With the next inhalation, bend the knee of the painful leg this time, pulling your heel toward your butt. 
and with the exhalation bring everything down. And let's continue like that. On the inhale, lift your upper body up. As you exhale, press your hips down. As you inhale, bend the knee of the non-painful leg. Pull the heel as close towards your butt cheek as you can. And with the exhalation, come down. With the inhalation again, lift your upper body up. Don't push with your hands, pull rather. Exhale, anchor your hips. Inhale, bend the knee of the painful leg, pulling the heel toward your butt. Notice how it feels, how the back of the leg feels. And exhale, come down. Do that one more time on each side on your own, please. Observe the sensations on the back of your leg. And whenever you finish with that, come on up onto your hands and knees. Next time when you inhale, lift the chest forward and up, making it nice and wide. And with the exhalation, bring your elbows down first, and then move your butt down toward the heels. Again, as far as it's comfortable right now. Again, with the inhalation, come on up onto your hands and knees, widen the chest. And exhale, gradually contract your abdomen, bringing your elbows down first, and then your butt down toward the heels. Relax the neck. Do that two more times, following the lead of your breath, please. And then next time when you move down into the child's pose, stay there for a moment. Relax your neck and shoulders. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. With the next inhalation, come on up onto your hands and knees, please. Stay here. Next time when you inhale, lift the chest forward and up away from the navel. And then next time when you exhale, pull your non-painful leg, knee toward your chest, rounding your back and tucking the chin in. On the inhale, lift the chest forward and up and extend your leg all the way back, lifting it slightly up above the pelvis. And with the exhalation, pull the knee toward your chest, rounding your back. Again, on the inhale, lift the chest forward and up and extend your non-painful leg back and slightly up. Exhale, pull it, the knee toward the chest, round the back. Do it one more time on your own, following the lead of your breath. Next time when you extend the leg back, keep it there. Keep your leg about parallel to the ground and make sure that your pelvis stays parallel to the ground as well. This is super important. Keep your lower back in a neutral position. Don't sag into your shoulders. Neutral neck. Take a deep breath here. And then next time when you exhale, slowly bend your extended leg, pulling your heel toward your butt. On the inhale, straighten the leg. Keep the thigh parallel to the ground and exhale, slowly bend the knee again. Keep the thigh parallel to the ground. On the inhale, extend the leg and exhale, bend the knee again, slowly. Don't allow your knee to droop down. And again, inhale, extend the leg and exhale, slowly bend the knee. Inhale, extend the leg again, and this time put your knee down so both knees are on the floor. And then stand up on your knees. From this position, extend your non-painful leg forward in front of you. So that the toes are pointing up and the knees slightly bent. Feel free to hold on to the wall of the chair if you need to for more stability. Hips are facing forward. Stand nice and tall here. Take a deep breath. And then with the next exhalation, do your best to straighten your leg best you can. 
On the inhale, let the knee bend a little bit. And with the exhalation again, contract your abdomen and straighten your leg best you can. And inhale again, soften the knee. And continue like that. Every time you exhale, straighten the leg, making it long from the hip into the heel, toes are pointing up. And inhale, bend the knee a bit. Two more times on your own. And whenever you finish with that, bend the knee and put it down on the floor next to the other one. And move down into the child's pose. Butt toward the heels. Forearms down. Forehead on the floor if it reaches there. And take a couple of breaths. Whenever you feel ready, come on up onto your hands and knees again. With the next inhalation, lift the chest forward and up. And then as you exhale, pull the knee of the painful leg toward the chest, rounding your back and tucking the chin in. On the inhale, lift the chest forward and up, extending your painful leg back behind you and slightly up. And with the exhalation, again, pull the knee toward your chest, rounding your back, tucking the chin in. Continue with that movement. Inhale, lift the chest, extend the leg back lifting it slightly higher than the pelvis. And exhale, pull the knee in and round. Two more times on your own, following the rhythm of your breath, please. Next time when you extend the leg back, keep it there. Make sure that the leg is about parallel to the ground and your pelvis is parallel to the ground as well. No sagging in the shoulders, neutral neck. Take a deep breath here. And with the next exhalation, slowly bend the knee of the painful leg, pulling the heel toward your butt cheek. With the inhalation, straighten the leg. And as you exhale again, contract your abdomen and slowly bend the knee. Make sure that the thigh stays parallel to the ground. And inhale, extend the leg. With the exhalation again, bend the knee. Observe the contraction of the muscles on the back of your thigh. And inhale, extend. And exhale, bend the knee again. Contract your abdomen. Make sure that you're not sagging in your lower back. And then extend the leg. Do it one more time on your own, please. And then whenever you finish with that, Put your knee down on the floor and stand up on your knees. And then extend your painful leg forward in front of you. Bend the knee as much as you need to to be comfortable. Hold on to something if you like. Toes are pointing up. Take a deep breath here. And with the next exhalation, do your best to straighten your leg. But don't force it. Just going to explore. Inhale, bend the knee again. Bend generously if you need to. And with the exhalation again, try to straighten the leg without force. Just test it out, see how far it's willing to go. And inhale, bend the knee again. Do that a few more times. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and try to extend the leg a little, a little bit more each time maybe. But make sure that it doesn't cause pain. Just experiment without hurting. And whenever you had enough of that, put your knee down on the ground. Keep your knees about hip distance apart. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, contract your abdomen, bring your chest towards your thighs, butt toward the heels and hands to your lower back. On the inhale, go all the way up on your knees again, sweeping your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation again, contract your abdomen, bring your chest towards your thighs. Relax the neck, hands to your lower back. Do that two more times, please, following the rhythm of your breath. 
reaching up high when you're at the top, relaxing the neck when you're at the bottom. And then next time when you move down into the child's pose, stay there for a moment. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Take a few deep breaths here. If this position doesn't feel comfortable, you can always put a bolster or a pillow under your butt. And now go ahead and transition up into standing. Place your feet so that they're about hip distance apart, about parallel to each other. Step your painful leg back behind you, but still make sure that your feet remain hip distance apart widthwise. Relax your arms down. Next time when you inhale, bend your front knee, raising your arms forward and up, coming into the warrior one pose. And with the next exhalation, contract your abdomen, straighten your leg, and lower your arms. Again, with the inhalation, bend your front knee, raise the arms, and lift the chest. And with the next exhalation, come out of the pose. Do that two more times. Inhale, move into the pose. Lift the chest away from the navel. Keep the upper body slightly in front of the hips. And exhale, come out. Inhale, go into the pose again. This time stay here, contract your abdomen, creating abdominal support for your lower back. Next time when you inhale, lift the chest forward and up. And as you exhale, contract your abdomen and firmly press your back heel into the ground. Again, with the inhalation, lift the chest forward and up. And with the exhalation, press your back heel down, engaging the buttock on that side. Again, inhale, lift the chest forward and up. And as you exhale, contract your abdomen, press your back heel down, engage the butt cheek. One more breath like that. And then with the next exhalation, straighten your front leg, lower your arms, coming out of the pose. Now we will need a chair or a wall whatever you have nearby. So grab a chair and position it in front of you so that the back of the chair is in front of you. Come a little closer, place both hands on the back of the chair. Take a deep breath here. And then with the next exhalation, start to lean forward, lifting your painful leg behind you. Place your forearms on the back of the chair Keep your upper body, your spine really long, and keep your back leg lifted. So your painful leg is up right now, and it's entirely up to you how high you want to raise it. Breathe here. Every time you exhale, Contract your abdomen and try to lift your back leg up a little bit more. And watch the engagement in your buttock and the back of the thigh. Make sure that your pelvis stays parallel to the ground. Breathe deep. When you had enough of that, come out of the pose. And we'll switch sides. This time, let's step your painful leg forward, a non-painful one back behind you. Hips are facing forward. Next time, when you inhale, bend your front knee, raising your arms forward and up, reach up high. And as you exhale, straighten the leg and lower the arms. We'll continue with that. On the inhale, bend your knee, raise the arms. Make sure that the back heel stays planted. And with the exhalation, come out. Lower the arms. Again, inhale, move into the pose. Position your upper body slightly in front of the hips. And exhale, come out. And again, inhale, go into the pose. Stay here. On the exhale, contract your abdomen. 
With the inhalation, lift the chest forward and up, away from the navel. Keep it there. And as you exhale, contract your abdomen. Pull your back heel down and engage the buttock on that side. On the inhale, lift the chest again. And with the exhalation, contract the abdomen, plant the heel and engage the buttock. Keep breathing like that. And with the next exhalation, come out of the pose. Take a deep breath. Next time when you exhale, bend forward slightly, placing your hands on the back of the chair. And with the next inhalation, raise your non-painful leg up behind you. Do your best to create a nice long line from the top of the head to your back heel. Keep your painful leg straight. That's the one you're standing on right now. And here you can experiment with hinging a little bit further forward, but make sure that it doesn't bother your leg. And continue to breathe like that. Every time you exhale, contract the abdomen, lift your back leg up a little bit higher by engaging, contracting your butt cheek. And now come out of the pose. Place your feet so that they are about hip distance apart. Still keep your forearms on the back of the chair. Make your spine long. Now stay here and the next time when you exhale, bend your right knee slightly, keeping your left leg straight. And the next time when you exhale, switch sides. So bend your left knee straightening your right leg, pulling the heel down. And we'll just alternate back and forth. Continue to breathe. And continue to bend one knee as you extend the other leg. And then switch sides, bend the other knee, extending the opposite leg. You can always move your upper body slightly up higher or a little lower depending on the sensations in the backs of your legs. Do that for another breath or two. And then straighten both legs, press both heels into the ground, lengthen your spine, keep your forearms on the back of the chair, and take a few deep breaths here, keeping your legs long and your spine long as well. And now if you want to step, take it one step further, go ahead and move further away from the chair, this time placing your hands on the back of the chair instead of the forearms. And you can decide how far down you bring your upper body. You can position it so that it's parallel to the ground. If that feels like it's too much, you can lift it a little bit up. And now we'll do the same thing again. Every time you exhale, bend one knee as you straighten the opposite leg, pressing the heel down. And then switch sides on the, other, on the next breath cycle. And do that a few more times. Make sure that your spine stays long. And after you do that a few times, see if you can straighten both legs. Lengthen your spine. Pull your butt back away from the chair. And take a few deep breaths here. Again, if it feels like it's too much for you right now, you can elevate, lift your upper body up a little bit. And take the load off of the hamstrings slightly. So choose where you want to be. 
and take a couple more nice deep breaths there. And then when you had enough, come on up, walk around a little bit. And go ahead and sit down in a chair or on the floor, whatever works for you. Close your eyes. And take a few nice deep breaths here. Take a moment to notice how your body feels right now. Notice your response to the practice. And this completes our practice for today. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.